through Zoom. Please use the raise hand function if you would like to ask a question. We're now joined by UT Arlington, and we have senior Claire Chastain, senior Taryn Milton, and head coach Sharika, Sharika Wright. We will uh, start with an opening statement from Coach Wright, then we will take all questions for student athletes. Once they are dismissed, we'll take questions for Coach. So Coach, if you'd like to start us off. Yeah, I had to uh, take a, a deep breath. That was an amazing environment here tonight uh, for our kids, for women's basketball. Um, again, I always give credit where credit is due. Iowa State is a tremendous basketball team. They stay true to themselves. Uh, they had an amazing crowd, but I am so proud of those women in my locker room tonight. They battled, they competed, they stayed together, and um, you know, we really, really put UT Arlington on the map and um, put a big time display of grit and showed parity within our women's game. Uh, it was a fun game to coach, um, being that first time head coach in that seat. But um, I'm so proud of these kids, so proud of these seniors, my seven seniors that are in that locker room, and, um, and to Star Jacobs, who returns here as a, a player to. Uh, be on that list for an All-American next year. So um, I'm so proud of him. Thanks, Coach. All right, we'll take questions for the student athletes now. We'll go to Brandon in the front. Hey, this is uh, Brandon Suhaj from the Dallas Morning News. Taryn, I mean, yesterday afternoon we talked about how you guys wanted to come in here and compete, and obviously, uh, you guys did that in the even more in this game. Can you just speak about the belief you guys had as a team when you guys built that lead? You guys had a ch ch chance to pull this out? Uh, I think we were just focusing on our game plan. We were, we were locking down on defense. We were rebounding. We were trying to push it. And I think we were getting good shots and making them. So that kind of stuff makes a difference in the game. And then for... Claire, I mean, like, was there any point where you guys really uh, felt like y'all would be able to pull it out? And can you just speak on the, um, on the general pride, I guess, of how you guys uh, played in this game tonight? Um, I don't think there was ever a time where we thought we couldn't win. Um, we played with confidence. We played together. And, you know, going into halftime, we felt um, very confident. And, you know, they made shots when they needed to. But, you know, we, we left everything out on the court, for sure. And then, uh, Taryn, um, can you take me uh, through that uh, uh, stretch of the fourth quarter there when uh, Iowa State hit those threes on I'm on the back to to back uh, possessions there. I mean, how did that kind of make things a little bit uh, tough at the end there? We uh we messed up a couple times on defense. Iowa State's a great team. You know they're gonna knock down open shots, and they they made big shots towards the end of the game that led to their win. So I think if we would have stayed more disciplined on defense. Um, contested the shots more, maybe it would have been different. But like I said, they're a good team. They're going to knock down shots. We just have to respond better. And then, uh, Claire, last thing I had, I mean, uh, Coach Wright talked about how this puts uh, Harlington as a program on the map. I mean, if you think about that, like, <coughs> what was this night like in terms of establishing where you guys are at um, as a Program. Um, I think this was a great opportunity to put UTA on the map. Um, we made some noise tonight. Unfortunately, we came up a little bit short, but um, you know, we we did everything that we could do. You know, so. Do we have any more in-person questions for the student athletes? All right, we'll move to remote, and we'll start with Isaac A. Pelt. Hey guys, uh, this question is just for both of y'all. Um, obviously a great season, just kind of walk me through what this means to get here for this school and the moments y'all have had this season that you've enjoyed. Let's start with Taryn and then go to Claire. 
um, it means a lot to us, honestly. We, you know, we never got to experience this before, so Coach was just telling us to soak it all in, enjoy every little moment, and that's what we've been doing. We've been having fun with it, and we're just excited to get the opportunity to come play. And I think, you know, we, we tried our best, we worked out there, we, um, we competed to the best of our ability, we just fell short. <clears throat> Obviously, this has been a great opportunity. I'm glad we could have it our senior year, just having this chance. Um, you know, our senior group, we all stayed together. And, you know, regardless of the outcome, we definitely left our legacy at UTA. Do we have any more questions for the student athletes? Thank you so much for your time. All right, we will now take uh, questions for Coach Wright. Tom. Uh, Tom Crochelle, Des Moines Capital. Coach, your kids came out into that arena and were not even the least intimidated by the hostile setting. Had, what had you told them and uh, what was the talk coming into the game that got you out to such a great start? Um, I, I, the answer to that is, is that, you know, the, they, they feed off their head coach. And I, I like to say as a leader, you walk into an environment, into a situation confident. We have been playing on the road. We have been successful on the road. And we just talked about just how fun this was going to be. And... Um, I just thought they responded, you know. Uh, they they had fun and to hear that crowd, how loud they were, and just to hear our crowd. That that also gave them confidence as well, too. And so, you know, we've done that. I mean, again, these two young ladies that were sitting next to me, again, they understand the leadership piece. They have experience. They, they've played in environments similar to this. But they knew, and I told them there's no excuses not to play hard, not to compete. We have none of those. And, um, and I thought they responded to that. You know, they, they responded to the challenge, and, um, and it put us in a position to have a chance to win the game tonight. I, we don't need a transcript of it, but what you had a, a short little talk with Star after she came out of the game. Can you give us the tenor and the point of what you were telling her? Just proud of her. Proud of her. Um, this kid has gone through a lot. Um, she hasn't told her story yet, but um, you're talking about a kid who was resilient, a kid who has been through a lot that wanted to give up basketball, and she took a chance on UT Arlington. And I told her, hey, you follow me, you follow this program, great things are going to happen to you. And um, I'm just so proud of her for doing that. And um, she has no reason to hang her head. Um, I think uh, the world, women's basketball, knows who she is now. Brandon? Um, coach, I mean, you guys were in this game like up until the last few minutes. Can you pinpoint some of the things that you guys did on the court that you walk away having a lot of pride in that gave you guys an opportunity to win this game? Well, yeah, I, I thought for probably 36 minutes of this game, I thought we locked into the defensive scout. We knew that uh, we wanted to give up twos more than threes. And I thought we did that for the, you know, for the most part. Um, I thought we defended very well. I thought, you know, especially in the fourth quarter, we, we lost Jones a couple of times to where she hit some big shots. Um, but, you know, from, from that standpoint of it all, we, we always responded to their run. And I think that that's probably the thing that I was so proud of is that, you know, we didn't fold. We could have. But we did not. And um, yes, we surrendered a, a big time lead. But we, good teams come back. You know, that's part of the game. Like, you can't hold on to leads like this anymore against really good teams. Um, they executed very well. But I thought we responded. You know, we, we, we missed a couple of free throws. Mix, looking at it all here, we missed six free throws. You know, those are critical, especially in possessions where we missed, you know, two in a row. And we probably needed that to get a stop. But um, again, I, I just can't express how proud I am of them responding to that. And they knew it was a game of runs. They just needed to stay tough. I mean, also kind of like I said, I mean, yesterday afternoon we talked about 
how you guys wanted to come in and, and be a uh, competitive team. And I know that you guys probably walked in here as underdogs, and, and that didn't <laughs> didn't s s s s seem to matter at all. Um, can you just speak on the journey that you, that this team is on with the seniors and that you've been on as somebody who's been in the tournament before, but first time as a head coach? I mean, I know the game just ended. It might be hard to put it into words, but can you do the best for me? <laughs> yeah, I can. Um, I, you know, I talked about this yesterday about living in the moment, right? Um, it has been a tremendous moment for me um, in the second year to come in and um, lead a group that believed in what I was saying about the two feet in and being locked into it. I knew what I had in this team. I knew we had pieces. You know, I love the versatility of this group. I love the toughness of it of this team and um, we challenged ourselves, and we had some bumps in the road. We had some bumps, but um, they responded to that. I have an administration, you know, I'm talking about them because I think a lot of times people, coaches don't talk about how important your administration is and your support. And that was major for me. They allowed me to grow as an assistant who had never been assistant to a head coach. They allowed me to grow in this moment. And, um, and that's, that's, that's been critical for me. And I just want to, you know, obviously shout out, uh, you know, Jim, who gave me this opportunity, and, and Russell and Debbie, these the supporters, administrators, those, those important. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, I have our, our president to be, President Callie is in here too, to see the support. That's amazing. And that's important when you're trying to build a program and a culture. So when, I, when it's all said and done, um, I feel good in the place that I'm in right now. And I look forward to the future. It's bright. Do we have any more questions for Coach in person? All right, we'll go to remote and we'll start with Al Al Isaac Apelt. Hey Coach, um, they kind of asked about it a little bit with the seven seniors, but I just want to give you a chance if you wanted to speak on just this team with this journey to Iowa. And then you talked about yesterday the goals that you wanted to set for this program, how do you think the performance today showed y'all's resilience and the tenor of UTA basketball as a whole? Right, um, again, th those seven seniors, again, set the tone for this. They, you know, they, they, they bought in. They bought into my message and, and uh, it, it made it easy to coach them. It was fun. It was fun to coach them. It was fun to be in practice with them. It's fun to be around them as people. You know, it's people. They're, you know, they're basketball players, student athletes, but they're great people. And it made it easy to coach them. And so to get to this moment and to be able to, to play this moment, and, and we believed, we, we, we knew coming into this game that we had a chance to win. I, I, I didn't want them to say, hey, we just try, try and see where it takes us. No, we came into this game ready to compete. And, um, you know, and, and sure enough, they did that. They did that. And, um, and I told them I didn't want to tear, I didn't want them to hold their head, heads you know, low for that, because ultimately, again, they're, they're winners. It's just tonight, you know, you gotta take steps. It's, it takes steps to win. You just can't get it all at once. And I know they don't know that, 18 to 22 year olds, I was there too, I didn't understand that either. But it takes steps, it's a process. It's a process to win, and um, this is the first step in that process. Do we have any more questions for Coach Wright? Coach, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>